See, this is going to be upside down. Is it? Yes. Okay, stop. We have to flip the camera. <laughs> Her hips touching. Oh no. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> well, hello, lovelies. Um, I'm Emily. I'm Amy. We're going to rant. This, so this is kind yeah. of serious. And not, it's very serious. Yeah. It's potentially dangerous. Right. You know that we like to be positive and have fun and laugh and stuff like that. And, you know, just generally have a really good time with you. But when it comes to certain things, somebody's got to say something. Right. Let me start off. A couple years ago, um, maybe it was a year and a half ago. I don't know. I don't remember. I was at Sally Beauty Supply and I was looking at nail stuff, nail polish and all that stuff, and directly behind me was a makeup rack. So when I turned to the left to walk down the aisle, I saw these two women at the makeup rack, obviously mother and daughter, and they were taking the hermetic seals off of eyeliners and lip liners and stuff like that, drawing on their hands, and then saying, nah, and put the cap on it and put it back on the rack. It's just like you can wash your hands, walk out of the bathroom, and touch your jacket, and you have just contaminated your hands. Bacterial transference is instantaneous. Right. So when she did that, I knew she had just contaminated that makeup. And if you don't think it's dangerous to do that, pink eye. Oh, I pink know. Eye. There's pink eye. There's all sorts of different things that you can transfer Fever onto. Blisters. Right. You can Herpes. transfer anything onto someone else. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not sensitive to it, they could be. Right. Not to mention the fact that you are tampering with private property. Yeah. Because everything on the, all the stock on the shelves in a store is the store's property, property. Until, until, you you, until you pay for it. Mm -hmm. Up until the point where you have Put in your debit card or paid the cash. That is the store's property. And you're so you're vandalizing. You're vandalizing store property. Mm -hmm. And then you see all of these people complaining about, well, why is all the makeup behind glass locked glass doors? And it's and, because of that, right? And and you know, uh, why is makeup getting so expensive? That's well, why. Think about all the stores Lost. that have to pay for the losses. Yeah and make up for that stock that they're losing out on because they can't sell that product anymore. Right. If you walk into Walmart lately, they have their whole makeup and beauty section all closed off now, and yeah. that's for a very re very big very reason. Very good reason. It's, it's loss prevention, okay? So, uh, so what I did when I saw them doing this, and they did it multiple times, I went up to the register, and I told on them. <laughs> I went Which to the manager. You you should do this, yes. and and I'm going to give you a good reason why. When I told the manager, I said, there's some women over there, and they're testing the makeup on their hands and deciding not to buy stuff. And she goes, oh, no, they're not. <laughs> and she went across the room, and she said very loudly, you can't do that. You are paying for that makeup. And she was all, like, serious, That's and right. she went all, like, you know, she's like, you are paying for that makeup and you give me that and we're going to take this over to the counter. And she took them over to the counter, made them pay for it and made them leave. Yes. And then she gave me a discount. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You, you just know? saved the business a lot, a lot of money. money. It was like, you should have seen the handful that she brought up to the counter. They can't sell it when you've done that. That's right. They have to throw it away. You might as well go up to the to the clothing rack with a pair of scissors in a department store. And just yeah. And just start cutting away. Or wipe that's your butt on it. That's, that's what you're doing. Well, it just it brings up all the prices. Right. Which is why they're locking stuff behind cases. Right. And putting putting more sensitive things right next to cash registers yes. so you're less likely to steal or vandalize right it. this is because you have thoughtless fellow customers going in and messing with stock messing with property that doesn't belong to them right you're ruining if you've done this oh they don't have a tester so i'm going to open this and see if i like it if you're one of those people you're ruining the experience for the rest of us right you know, I I walk into stores, common stores that we all know, mm -hmm. once or twice a week, 
and look at the makeup sections and I am appalled by the number of open containers, mm -hmm. open pencils, lipsticks, all of that that have been shoved toward the back yeah. in an effort to hide it. And yeah. I know this is not the store because they check their stock every single day. Right. It's and not the it, store's fault. Right. And, we're, and, and you know they what? Do, they do their very best. Like, I mean, Ulta is number one on this. They do their very best. This is such and a peeve of mine. This really angers me. It really it does. Oh. Because then, there's, some, there's nothing more disgusting. Well, and then people turn around and blame the stores. Well, yeah. they don't have enough of this and they don't have enough of that. Well, maybe they would have enough of this and that if people would keep their mitts off of it. Right. You know, or shop at a place where they have testers. Well, they have testers at Ulta, but not on every Okay, product. but I'm talking like not all stores do. Mm -hmm. They're expensive to upkeep, yes. which is why they don't do it. So they're trying to offer you product at a most reasonable rate. And when people go in and steal and vandalize, you're defeating the entire purpose mm -hmm. behind the store. The store can't sell the stuff. Knock it off. This is gross. And it's and, and I know there are a lot of you watching this, you know, this video right now who are in the same boat we are. You get grossed right. out by it. But let me tell you what you do about it. Not only I I did not con confront those two women in that in Sally's that day, but today Mom and I <laughs> went to TJ Maxx, which is notorious for this. Okay. And they sell all that they sell all the overstock makeup and mm -hmm. stuff like that. For, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, whatever, what else have we yeah. seen there? I've seen Mac there. Mac, I've, I mean, Stila. Yeah, I've seen, so I've seen from Elf all the way up. Right. Okay, I've seen some very serious luxe brands in there as well. And and for those of us gals who are on a budget, right? That's kind of a nice perk. It is. If you can't open a tube, uh, I mean, if you can't look at this and see, that's the color. Right. That's what it looks like. Right. This they're doing a very good job lately of packaging products like this so that you can see the color without opening That's the right. product. Yes, I agree with that. And that brings me to today with the TJ Maxx yes, and this I is went a good story. I went in there and I walk up and I'm shoulder to shoulder with this lady and you know, we're both looking I'm looking at mascara and she's looking at the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses that were there and I was like oh, ABH, right? So I'm all, I'm looking at the mascara because she's there and I'm waiting for her to move. And then I see her take this box and she's looking at it and I'm like, uh-uh, no, she's not. And I was just waiting. You could see her, the body language. You could see her. She was about to do it. She kind of, she was looking around to make sure nobody was watching her. And of course I'm watching her out of the corner of my eye, but she was not concerned about me, which tells me something. So she opens it. Okay, and she's right-handed, so I'll do it right-handed. She opens it, and she goes like this. Closed it, put it back in the box, and was about to hang it when I said, aren't you going to buy that? And she looks at me, and she goes, no. And I'm like, you just damaged it. That's right. You just contaminated it. That's right. And she goes, well, and I said, no, you just messed that up. It's gross. And she goes, sorry, and held it in her hands. And then she, she was moving along the aisle and everything. And I'm like, she, you could tell she was just waiting for me to get distracted and leave. <laughs> but people, I'm telling you, you have never met stubbornness until you've met me. <laughs> I was, and I was tempted to tell her I'm not leaving. Because I could tell, as soon as I walked away, she was going to hang it back up. That's right. Yeah. Mm. So she goes and she like works her way around the end aisle and she's going to come around this way. Okay, she's shopping with another woman who has a baby stroller. So they're over there and, you know, have their backs turned to me and I'm like, I know what you're doing. I didn't say it, but I wanted to. All right. And then my mom tapped me on the shoulder, and of course, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, because <laughs> I was focusing on them. She's all. And so she she found a clever way to hide this damaged lipstick in the display. Picked up something else. I don't know what it was. It was just one big item, one big square item, not one little, you know. 
And so she, she walked out up to the register, paid for that, and they left. And I'm all, you've got to be kidding me. After, after I shamed her, she still did it. Yeah. And what it, what it tells me is that she knew she was doing something wrong. I shamed her and she wanted me to leave so she could put it away and walk away without doing the right thing. And that was paying for this. This was $8. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, by the clothes she was wearing, that was no hardship. I can, I can look at your purse and tell you have some money. <laughs> I know purses. Right. I'm telling you, woman, That's had right. money, she could have paid for that lipstick. That's right. And you know why people continue to do this? Nobody says anything. Yeah. And that's what brought this whole video about. In fact, Emily and I have been talking about this for well mm -hmm. over a week. Yeah. And how to approach this. And I'm just like, just, bleh, yeah. just let's tell everybody how we feel about you it. You need to, you need to say something. I yes. know, I know a lot of you out there are not, most people are not inter interested in confrontation. They'll do anything they can to avoid a confrontation, but not I. I used to work in an airport. <laughs> <laughs> I was in baggage service. There's no confrontation I'll run from. I'm not kidding. It was, uh, I was like, oh. <laughs> now, are we saying walk up to someone who you, th who, and start a fight? No. No. Um, if you are that uncomfortable Look approaching somebody. Yeah, go talk to a floor clerk. Find the manager. Find somebody who can do something about it. Mm -hmm. I guarantee the store wants to know. Right. And you have and if done they a don't, service. You don't want to be shopping there. Right. <laughs> and people who do this, they need they to need understand. To be they need to. They're being watched. It's not something that it can easily be gotten away with anymore. Mm -hmm. so we have. If we want to have the experience of good affordable cosmetics yeah or any other product for that matter we need to have respect for the outlets that are giving this to us and our fellow customers who want to buy it as well so i just think you know hey you're doing this because you know nobody's going to say anything a lot of people walk in they're where i don't want to say apathetic but they're just kind of like it is Ew. apathy you think yeah because it's like I just, like, yeah, I know it's wrong, but I don't care enough to do anything about it. Or uh, or I, I'm not feeling confrontational. I don't want to deal with this or right. whatever. They shouldn't be doing that. I'm just going to go over here and shop. Sure. It's wrong. For those of you who are religious, all right, there's part of the Bible where it talks about if you see a crime being committed and do nothing about it, you are guilty of the same crime. I just think, and you know, and while there that stands, I think that we do each other a service if we say something it's and the they right don't thing have to, do. to con confront the stranger talk to somebody on the floor yeah they'll do it, it. so somebody who works there say hey i see somebody doing this to your products over here mm -hmm. i wanted you to know and leave it there and you they did might something even give you a discount <laughs> <laughs> and who knows the people who do this might actually start getting the hint and having some respect right. maybe not all of them in fact i know not all of them but you've got to plant the seed and you've got to plant the seed and the only right. way to do that is to say something and you will feel better about it right if you've done something otherwise you're going to be like well should i have said something yeah yeah yes you should have even if you're not religious you understand right and wrong right you know so, I mean, there's that, but like, okay, so let me tell you why I consider this so serious. There are people out there who have some pretty serious allergy. Pink eye is the least of your worries, okay? Herpes is permanent. It's not, it's probably not going to kill you, but it could kill a baby. Think about this. Let's say you eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. For you in Australia, thank God you don't like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... Some of you might like peanut paste. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Somebody who's allergic to tree nuts and you've just eaten almonds or something. Okay, so you eat some tree nuts or something and you don't wash your hands thoroughly enough or maybe you don't wash them at all because you don't consider them dirty and you go to the store and you do that. And the person who buys that lip product is not aware that it's been tampered with. They put it on their lips. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know how severe nut allergies are? There's a reason somebody is suing Ulta for selling used makeup. And used. Because she got a disease right. 
from from a lipstick, I believe right. it was. And used simply means that the hermetic seal was opened. It then, became unsanitary. That's right. All this, all it has to be is the seal is undone. Mm -hmm. It can start to, that's as right. soon as air touches it, it starts to expire. Right. And so you have to be very cautious about what it is you're doing when you're looking at makeup right. and what you're buying and you know, if well, I want to test it, then go to a place that has testers. And don't put it on your face. Yes. Don't test anything on your face. <laughs> There's this, oh, CBN did an expose thing, and they went around to all of the, you know, the most popular cosmetics outlets, and they, they did, they took samples, secretly took samples of all the testers that they had out there. And you would not believe the stuff that they that came up on the the test. Fecal matter was one of them. Mm. They found poo in one of the samples. And if that's not enough to keep you from doing this to products, ew. And and we're not saying you have poopy hands, okay? I'm not but all you it. all I'm you have saying. to be is a mom with a baby. You change the baby's diaper, right. you wash your hands, maybe you don't get a whole spot because we know moms are very distracted and you're constantly having to keep an eye on things to keep the baby from getting into stuff and maybe you miss a spot and then you put the sampler on that and then there's fecal matter and it's growing bacteria and stuff and you do not want that in your lipstick. Or somebody else's. Just even on your skin in general. I well, mean, I mean, but if you're going to test a sampler, test it on your hand, but make sure it's a designated sampler. And then right. wash your hands afterward. Right. It's Stop it. If Stop you're one it. of the, I'm really hoping that you're one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing this. Oh, I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Oh, my hands are clean. I'll just. Stop. You have skin. Stop it. I don't want your skin please. in my lipstick. Please, please, please. Stop, Stop it. it. Stop okay. it. And if you have if you have teenage girls, stop it. Tell them to stop it. Please. Stop it. <laughs> I want to have good makeup experiences. I'm, I have like two days out of the entire week <laughs> that I can enjoy. Yeah. And I want to, when I go shopping and I'm going, you know, have to have makeup therapy and go shopping, I don't want to be, whoa, it's open. Ew, ew. <laughs> That happened to us when we went to Ulta, and our Ulta is very, very busy, okay? And we we have no trouble finding stuff, you know, right. to buy there. Trust me, we don't. <laughs> we, and they have and we testers. Go there often. They do have testers, and it's fine, you know? It's great. We enjoy this. Yes. But I went to, <laughs> I saw this liquid lipstick. I think it was a NYX. I don't remember if it. I think well, yes, yeah, it was at we, the NYX display. Right, because we went for the NYX sale over at Ulta. Yes, and because it was buy one get one fifty percent off, and don't we all love that sale? Mm, that's right. So we all love these sales. Yes, please, <laughs> please have respect. Yes. Um, so I, I, I was like, ooh, that's a pretty color, and so I pull it out of the thing, and the hermetic seal has been torn down to the middle of the thing, and it's open in the back, and it's flapping in the breeze, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow, it's, it was just shameless. It was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then they just put it back in the display. Yeah. I'm like... Just no shame. No yeah, shame. Just, just... <sighs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do something. Lovelies. We have to stick together. That's right. We have to fight evil. That's right. <laughs> it's time to battle crime. The evil makeup demons. <laughs> we have to fight the evil makeup. <laughs> I, mean, if you, I know we can do this together, which is why we're posting this video. If somebody is shopping <laughs> and they're wearing a ski mask and testing makeup. <laughs> They're a little suspicious. All right. So if you're doing it, stop, stop it. it. If you're seeing it, say stop something. It. Say something. Mm -hmm. You know. And, yes. And and tell your friends. That's right. Tell your friends because it it can potentially be very serious. <laughs> That's right. Tell them Emily's watching. I'm watching you. <laughs> She's stubborn. And she's gonna get you. <laughs> I'll, I'll follow you around the store until you're dead. <laughs>
Okay. Okay. We hope you enjoyed this. Yes. Not just enjoy this, but we hope you learned something as well. Um, please like and subscribe. Yes. That's very important. It is very important. Because if you like and subscribe, this video will go out to more people. Yes, and we'll be more obnoxious than ever. Right. But this video will make it to people who need to hear the message. That's right. They need that, to hear this. That's, that's, our, that's our sales pitch for this video. <laughs> you want other people to see this video? Thumbs up. That's right. That's right. And if you, if you don't want other people to see this video, just ignore it. Don't, that's right. Don't do this. Yeah. Just, just ignore us. That's right. I agree with that. <laughs> anyway, uh, just remember that even if you are a thief, <laughs> even if you are a, a vandal, vandal. If, yeah, yeah, vandal, even if you are a vandal, <laughs> you are God's priceless work of art and nothing can replace you. That's right. Have some respect for yourself. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, lovely. Bye. -bye,